Kamade speak to us. So Alice Kamade, take it away. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much, Yeni. I'm so, so much honored that you could actually ask me to come and share the word. And my scripture today is coming from Psalms 46, uh, 10. Uh, 10. Uh, basically, when Nick called me, he called me last night and told me, by the way, um, I hope you don't mind to just share a, a word with us like for five minutes. And I was like, oh, yeah, uh, let me just see what it is that in this season God has been speaking to me about. And uh, I'm sure that whatever it is that God has uh, placed in my heart is also something that is also uh, something that will also help you in your life. Uh, so my scripture of today is on... Uh, on Psalms 46, but more specifically on Psalms 46:10, uh, which says that he says, "Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I'll be exalted in the earth." You know, when I was just thinking about the season of the of, of COVID and we are in the middle of a pandemic, I was just wondering what it is that God is just saying about being still. You know, not being able to move around. The nations have been closed and all that. And I'm sure. You know, wherever you are, you're, you're like, what is this all about? And so for me, this season has been about stillness, about waiting on God and, and waiting on God and only moving when he says move. You understand? And so for me, I've, I've been thinking so much about stillness and what it is like. You know, DJ Nix, I was just thinking about a seed when I was thinking about stillness. You know, when you place a seed on the ground to grow, uh, one thing you don't do, you don't keep remove, removing it mm -hmm. or moving it from one place to another. It's more likely to die. And sometimes we are like seeds that God actually, our lives are like seeds. And sometimes God, because we are in God's vineyard, he places us on the ground so that we can grow. And in that stillness of being under, you know, mm -hmm. that seed being under the ground, there's something that it's doing. You know, sometimes in stillness, we, we usually feel like there's nothing happening. But I know that I know that I know for sure that in stillness, there's so much that is happening. You know, when, when it's, it's still, it's quiet, you know, and sometimes so many of us don't love, you know, being quiet or being still. Mm -hmm. But God has been saying in this season, I am ensuring that there's nowhere you can go and there's nothing you can do mm -hmm. until you have to listen to me. And so apparently it's, it's happening, but God loves us so much. He just wants us to listen in so many different ways. Some have lost jobs. Some, you know, are working from home. You know, there's all these happenings. But the, in this quietness, there's something that God is doing. It might look quiet, but we are like that seed that has been placed on the ground. If it is removed from that ground, it will not put its roots in that soil so that it can be able to absorb every nutrient that it needs to grow. It's the same thing that God wants for us at this particular time. If God places us in a, in, in, on this ground, it, it's a ground that is still at this particular moment, he wants us to absorb, to absorb everything that we need so that our future and our generations to come will be greater and more beautiful. And so even to finish off with this, um, I just wanted to say from 46, let me just read the whole of 46, which says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though the waters roll and form and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God the holy place where the most high dwells god is within her she will not fall god will help her at break of day nations are are in uproar kingdoms fall he lifts his voice the earth melts the lord almighty is with us the god of jacob is our our, our fortress come and see what the lord has done the desolations he has brought on the earth he makes war cease to the ends of the earth he makes, the bow, he makes the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. And to top it up, it's Psalms 46, 10, that he says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And God is also going to be exalted in your life, even in the stillness. As much as things are tough, 
but God is going to be exalted even in your stillness. Quiet yourself right now. Listen to your heart. Listen to what God is speaking to you because God has a great plan, has a great plan for you, not just for now, but for future. And Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, are plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. There is a future that God is creating right now, even in the stillness, even in the quietness, there's something that God is doing. So every time we have anything happening like this or God is asking you to be still, there is something happening. Stillness does not mean nothing is happening. God is waging war on your behalf. God is working on your behalf. May you call upon his name and he's going to become your refuge. And I hope this is a message for you today and God bless you. Amen. Thank you so yeah. much, Alice. You know, wow. even when you cannot trust God's hand mm. in your life, mm. trust his heart. Yes. Because he's good. He's Amen. always good and he's, he has great plans for us. Mm. Thank you so much. For